Hello everyone, Mocha Bear here. Welcome back to Mocha Bear's Hobby Den. Today I have another Kickstarter project promotional video. Shall we get started? <laughs> So today's Kickstarter project is Maladum Dungeons of Enveron, the long-awaited fantasy dungeon crawler for battle systems set in beautiful 3D terrain suitable for D&D and other RPGs. And as you saw, that number just climbed. The goal was $60,864. We are currently sitting at $316,344 with 1,987 backers and 20 days to go. So... So this is a project by Battle Systems. Link to the Kickstarter project and any other social media will be in the description box down below. So as you can see here, story. This is a picture of what we are to get from this project. The world is not as it was. The ancient magic stir within the earth and their return heralds a new age of opportunity for those bold enough to seize upon such glorious times. Within the tombs and crypts of antiquity lie the makings of legends, untold prosperity, unspeakable peril and the ever-present prospect of glory. The tales of your adventures will echo through the ages, and should your band of reprobates happen to save the world in the course of things, then all the better. Maladum Dungeons of Enveron is two Kickstarter projects in one, stunning new scenery for your fantasy dungeon-crawling RPGs and our very own game to play on it. So, the game. Maladum is a fantasy miniatures board game in which your band of adventurers head into ancient dungeons and abandoned settlements to seek their fortune. Maladum ticks so many of the boxes in my list of things I want in a game. The passion that's been poured into Maladum comes over in the style and content and the quality. That's by Andy Burtis, Blackjack Legacy. Uh, the game takes place on the highly detailed 3D board included in the box. Your adventurers must explore the area, defeat their enemies, complete their quests, and escape with as much loot as they can carry. The comprehensive campaign system tracks your party from game to game, developing their skills, upgrading their equipment, and immersing you in their story. Which is super exciting. Again, more pictures from the project itself. That is so cool. Definitely going to be implementing that into my D&D &D games, but definitely going to have to try out the game. My buddy, I've got a board game buddy, he will love this. Maladum is based on our best-selling sci-fi game, Core Space but has been reworked from the ground up to provide a compelling and immersive fantasy experience. It retains the simple core mechanics, interactive NPCs, and unique real search system while seamlessly integrating everything you'd expect from a fantasy dungeon crawler, from exotic wandering beasts to all manner of magical powers and weaponry. The sandbox nature of the game offers a fully customizable experience, from a solo RPG style adventure to a full on multiplayer PVP skirmish. That's right, you can play by yourself if you want. I will have to test it out myself before I take it to my friends. Sorry Chris. A brand new feature for Maladum is an intricate branching campaign, playable solo or cooperatively. As you play through each part of the story, every decision you make and every objective you complete or not will have a knock-on effect to your route across Enveron and the ultimate fate of your party. The campaign has been designed with multiple paths, continuing the narrative regardless of the outcome of each game, and the accompanying campaign log keeps track of unique achievements and rewards earned by your party as you progress. Maladin is a fully self-contained game. Everything you need to play the game, including a 2 foot 60 centimeter neoprene mat covered in our award-winning terrain, no glue or paint required, is included in the box. And this is what you can expect from the board game itself, I believe. Beyond the starter set, the game is fully compatible with our existing fantasy terrain ranges, so you can adapt the story to any settings of your choice, but that's not all. And yes, they have a lot more options. The terrain. Battle systems have been making tabletop gaming terrain for over a decade, and we have successful fantasy, sci-fi, and urban ranges available. Terrain brings a table to life, and we've always focused on building immersive settings before populating them with our games. Our long-standing fans will remember our first foray in dungeon terrain back in 2014, and since then we've made significant improvements to our designs. It's time to relaunch the Battle Systems dungeons. Uh, so another picture. Our dungeon terrain is suitable for D&D and all other 28 to 35 millimeter fantasy miniature games and RPGs. It is easy to assemble and there is no painting required. It can even be flat packed back into the box for easy storage between games. 
It is made of pre-printed super high density cardstock and is incredibly strong and durable. The terrain is also fully modular and the various walls, floors, accessories, and furniture can be assembled in endless combinations for a different layout in every game. And here's a little example of how it's all set up and what it looks like. That is so cool. That is so cool. The terrain is of course fully compatible with Maladum, taking your gameplay to a whole new level, but it is also available separately for use with many other popular games, such as Dungeons and Dragons, Pathfinder, Frostgrave, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, Mordheim, and many more. Mordheim, sorry. The rewards. Two projects equal two pledges. If you're here for an epic new game, pick up the Maladum Kickstarter edition, packed full with everything you need to play and more. If you're looking to pimp up an existing RPG or miniatures collection, you'll want the Dungeon Terrain Pledge, a multi-level system agnostic modular box of awesome scenery. Of course, Maladum is a sandbox game and you can create your own quest to be played on whatever terrain you like, so select the combined pledge to take Maladum to the next level and build double the dungeony goodness. This includes enough terrain and mats to fill a 4x2 space, and we will include bespoke Maladum quests designed for the larger play area. Let's take a look at what's on offer. So here is Maladum the Kickstarter edition, 99 pounds, I believe. Uh, 1 to 4 players, 30 to 120 minutes, solo or co-op, branching narrative campaign, and 3D terrain included. And then the immersive adventure in a realm of magic. It's got the adventurers, uh, their boards. You can use them as NPCs. You can come to the page and look at everything yourself. I'm skimming through because there's a lot here. And some of these things you're seeing are things that were already unlocked from stretch goals. Such as there. And then the dungeon terrain. 79 pounds. 28 to 35 millimeter scale, no painting, fully modular, highly durable, suitable for RPGs and miniature games. Over 300 components. And here's a list of all the pieces, which more has already been unlocked from stretch goals. This project ended up going live on my way to work. So I spent some time looking at all the pieces and I'm just super excited to be able to use this. Not only just for D&D, but just to try out the game itself with all these pieces. And then the accessories. There's over 140 plastic clips, so that's how the terrain is held together. Uh, you can see the prison cage was unlocked. Some more stuff. Yeah. A prison cell. That hasn't been unlocked yet. Uh, the combined pledge, which is what I went with. For 175 pounds, Maladum the Kickstarter edition, as well as Battle Systems Dungeon Terrain. There's a picture of them set up together. And it includes bonus quests for larger gaming areas in a PDF form, it looks like. Uh, as with all Battle System Kickstarters, this is just the start. If we reach our goal, we will start to unlock bonus content for both pledges at no extra cost. So here's what's happening the prison cell. Uh, will be unlocked at 264,000 pounds. So we've got a ways to go, but we got plenty of time. Uh, bonus events is unlocked at 285,000 pounds. So that will be added to the game. Uh, find out more. So here's their Facebook, uh, Board Game Geek. Here's all those videos I was talking about. which I have not watched yet, sadly, so I need to do that. Uh, core space information as well, so I might have to check out Core Space and possibly buy that. Uh, some more reviews and comments, more pictures. Now, for add-ons, it's different than most Kickstarter projects. For this one, you have to take a look at the add-ons list, see how much it is, and then you add that to your pledge when you are pledging. You can adjust uh, your cost, like how much you're paying for, but then here's the add-on that I definitely want to do. It's 45 pounds, the Vaults of Enveron Terrain. Hopefully this will be available during the survey, the Pledge Manager or Backer Kit. Uh, it's coming with furniture as well, another mat. So that'd be three mats for me if I do that. You can get another mat for 16 pounds. 
and then the translations, uh, French, Italian, uh, retailer pledges. So there's information for retailers and then shipping information. All right, and here's the stretch goals. For 50,000 pounds, we unlocked Arya Human Marksman and the prison cage. So we are unlocking something for both the game and the terrain at the same time. Uh, here for 78,000, we unlocked Hendley Dweller Guardian. Uh, 95,000, we unlocked Dungeon Walls 1. Uh, 113,000, we unlocked Bonus Equipment. 132,000, we unlocked the Armory. 156,000, we unlocked the Split Tail Rats Wandering Beasts. Uh, 175,000, we unlocked the Strong Room. 200,000, we unlocked Classes and Skills. And 218,000 Dungeon Walls 2, 245,000 Kriga Human Contender. So next up, 264,000 is Prison Cell. And then 285,000 for bonus events. So that is all the information right there for you. I'm super excited for this, not only, like I said, for the D&D um, aspects, but as well as the game itself. Yeah. When you get the chance, please check out the Kickstarter project. Give their social media a follow if you want. I'm really eager to hear what you think about this project. But going to go ahead and end it there for today. So take care of yourselves. And until next time, hobby on.